Hello guys, welcome to another fun pick a card reading and today we're actually going to do an April forecast. Let's try to find out what's in store for you this month of April. We have three options here. This is group number one and that is the powerful Dragon's Blood Sage. Group number two, we have the Palo Santo Cone. Oops. And the last group, we have this really long red incense sticks. Okay, so there you go. Yes, choose which of these three options you're actually drawn to. And choose with your intuition, not with your eyes. And also, um, please be reminded that this is a general reading. It will not resonate for everyone. Again, we're going to try to find out what are the energies for you this month of April or what is in store for you this month of April. All right, so let me actually show you the options one more time. This is group number one, and that is a dragon's blood sage. Group number two, we have the Palo Santo Cone. And then group number three, we have the red incense sticks. Okay, let's get started. Okay, group number one, you chose this Dragon's Blood Sage, which is very powerful. We actually just take that out. All right, let's try to check what are the energies for you this month of April or what's in store for you. Spare guides, archangels, and angels, please provide guided messages for the collective who chose group number one. All right, let's get started. Wow, you got the sun of life. All right. Ooh, got three cards that fell, so that's awesome. You have ace of stones. That is beautiful, foundation of life. All right, next card, let's see here. We have the hooded man. Oh, wow. Okay. Next, we have the Queen of Arrows. Okay. Next, we have... Wow, the Pole Star. That is beautiful. All right. Wow, you got two aces. Group number one, that is freaking beautiful. You got the ace of cups or ace of vessels, the waters of life. Wow, I love this for group number one. Overall energy, look at this. You got the wheel. Things are shifting towards your own favor. This is such a beautiful uh, spread for group number one. All right. I'm sensing Leo here. All right. And I'm also sensing um, if it's um, your energy, there's a strong Aquarius as well. That's what I'm picking up. All right. But whatever the signs are or just the energies um, for group number one, I'm really sensing that there's going to be a new beginning for you. You got two aces. Aces always talks about a new beginning. So a new opportunity is going to come along and a new emotional experience when it comes to love. Okay. So that is really awesome. Um, I'm picking up that you are going to be um, in control this month of April. There's a lot of happiness coming in. There's a lot of hope. You got a lot of, you know, uh, major arcanas in your reading. So that is really, really beautiful. So happiness is gonna come in for you there's going to be a new opportunity coming along okay and I really feel that for some of you some of you are Virgo by the way I forgot to mention that so Virgo Aquarius and Leo so I feel that you have done the work for some of you you have done some contemplation you tried to go within some of you are also pretty spiritual that's also what I'm picking up and you are going to receive some sort of like a sign or there's some form of like a clarity that you will finally get okay so you're going to finally understand things you're gonna see things clearly this time okay through this period of contemplation and review I feel that for the month of April you're 
you're going to be equipped with the clarity, the truth that you're actually seeking for. I'm also sensing a lot of positivity coming in for you this month of April because you got the moon, rather the sun and the star. So very powerful energies, okay? Star also talks about healing energy. It also talks about optimism. So very, very positive for you. Uh, also when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love because you got the Ace of Cups here. So definitely there's a new beginning when it comes to um, your emotional um, area or the areas of emotions or love and also when it comes to your foundation in life opportunities whether that is career or whatever it is okay so that is totally awesome all right so yeah that is beautiful let me actually and one thing is for sure everything is actually going to turn towards your own favor because the overall energy is actually the wheel all right and look at this wheel for some of you if it's love there's that twin flame energy you got the moon and the sun have you noticed that so yeah maybe there's going to be a new beginning a new chapter for you and this person not for all of you but for some of you yes okay all right let's see what else is in store for group number one and my bunny is here okay you want to join the reading say hi there goes their bunny ear. Okay. <laughs> What's in store for group number one? Oh, wow. Look at this. Material harvest. This is actually the nine of pentacles. So, yeah. For some of you that are single, I really feel that for the month of April, you're actually just going to be very much, you know, um, independent. You're going to be really strong. You're going to focus on your own success. Um, there's harvest here. So financially, you're actually going to be good. Your finances are going to be intact. Your income is going to be intact. That's also what I'm getting. So yeah, for some of you, even if you're not single or you're actually inquiring about um, career or job, I feel there's still going to be some growth, okay, for you. So if you've been worrying about your career, about your money, I feel that um, for the month of April, um, there's going to be uh, some luck shifting towards your favor, okay, because you got the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, money is coming in with a material harvest, okay, that is beautiful. Let's see what else. What is in store for group number one? Okay. All right. Wow. You got unfinished symphony. All right. So 10 talks about endings. So if there was an ending in the past with a partner, whatever it is, in what area of your life, I feel that there is still an unfinished business for you. Okay. So if you think that you and this person are totally over, remember he got the new beginning and you got two aces. So perhaps there's going to be a new beginning between you and this person. For some of you, I'm really sensing it's a twin flame, you know, that you're dealing with because you got the sun and moon earlier, okay? It's something very significant, okay? All right, what else? Let's see here. What is in store for group number one? Wow, you got the third chakra, Archangel Samuel. Third chakra is actually talking about positivity. It talks about um, optimism, confidence, and you got the sun earlier. So yeah, definitely positive things are actually heading your way this month of April. Congratulations. You really got some beautiful cards. You're going to feel empowered, okay? You're going to be in control. That's really what I'm getting here. So yeah, um, you'll be feeling a lot more confident about yourself, okay? Um, you'll be a lot more positive about, you know, things, about situation, which is beautiful. I love that. Okay, what else? What is in store for group number one this month of April?
All right, you got DNA, karma. So what I'm actually getting with this karma, and this is actually um, really, really beautiful because I feel that whatever it is that you've dealt with in the past, okay, you are actually going to, and I'm also hearing good karma as well. And for some of you who've dealt with a very difficult situation, I feel that is going to close out, okay? There's going to be a new beginning for you, a new chapter for you. That's really what I'm getting with this karma card. So uh, whether that is good or bad, okay? Okay. For some of you, it's a good karma in such a way that all of your hard work, okay, it's going to pay off because you're going to harvest, right? You got the material harvest here. So yeah, um, good things are going to come your way. Really positive things are going to come your way. Um, it's paying off. That's what I'm hearing. It's actually paying off. You keep on getting the number 10 because if you add up 3, 7, it's 10. And you got the number 10 here. So yeah, it talks about endings. So I feel that, again, for the month of April, it's going to be a totally new chapter for you. Whether it's a new beginning in love with this person or a new person or something new when it comes to other areas of your life okay a new emotion a new experience a new opportunity for you so totally beautiful for group number one but we're not actually done yet we're actually going to get four cards from the archangel power cards here so let me get that for you all right say hi all right Okay, four cards, please, for group number one, Spirit. You have the King of Ariel. Let me read it. It says here, your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Exactly, because he got the Nine of Pentacles. You saw that. You have the material harvest. So, you have to use all of these resources, though, wisely. That's also the advice of spirit uh, for you. But King of Pentacles is actually talking about um, success, abundance, growth. So, this is actually really, really beautiful for you, Group 1. That is awesome. So, whatever it is that you're planning is going to work out really well. There's going to be financial success in the cards. Okay. Next, you have here Eight of Gabriel. Let me read it again. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, and important communication. So for some of you, yes, Eight of Wands or Eight of Gabriel is actually also talking about communication. So you might be receiving an important communication from someone, whether this someone is uh, a partner that you've been waiting for because there's going to be a new beginning. And I'm getting that twin flame energy as well. So yeah, for some of you, that is the important communication that you've been waiting for. For some, maybe some offers as well or a new idea that could be a message as well a new idea um, that's going to be very helpful for you is gonna come in or come through this month of april that is beautiful all right so it's something sudden so it's going to be fast all right what else what is in store for group number one All right, we have here Queen of Raphael. So you have kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. Again, we're talking about messages. For some of you who are actually pretty much psychic here or into divination, tarot, or whatever, I'm sensing that there's going to be an important information there. You're going to receive some downloads, and this is going to be very helpful for you. All right, an important download or an important information. It's also probably an idea that would give you some opportunities for success, okay? That's what I'm getting here. And then, of course, try to follow your dreams. Try to follow what is in your heart, okay? That's also an advice from spirit. There's going to be a lot of ho um, love in the home and the family as well for you, uh, group one. That's also in the cards for you. All right, we need one more card before we wrap things up. Yeah, you got five of Michael. This is five of swords. Um, this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Right. So for some of you, there are things that are actually not really good for you. Or this is actually a confirmation from spirit that if things are actually not good for you, you are being asked to actually, yeah, choose another route. Okay. 
try to release your attachment to what is going to happen as well that's also an advice for you group one just go with the flow okay you will receive some important information whether that is in the form of a dream for some of you especially for those psychics or signs and synchronicities or an actual communication like a message from someone because this is a general reading take only what resonates for you but again if there are some challenging situations in your life try to yeah choose a different route transition to a much better route okay that is going to be very good for you all right that will give you that uplifting energy okay so far such a freaking beautiful energy for group number one congratulations success is coming your way positive things are coming your way the wheel is actually turning towards your own favor just make sure now this is again you know energies to change at the end of the day it is your own energy so make sure that's why you got some advices from spirit here to actually be careful of your thoughts as well okay and also to be um Again, to be mindful of your own thoughts. Do not control the outcome. Just go with the flow. All right? And trust yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay? So there you go. I just love Group 1's reading. Congratulations. Such a beautiful month of April for you. All right? I'll see you again on the next Pick a Card, guys. Bye-bye now. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay? Bye, guys. All right. Group number two. You chose this Palo Santo cone. All right. It works as good as the Palo Santo stick, just like this one. All right. It's also very powerful. Let me actually put this aside. All right. Let's try to find out what is in store for you this month of April. Spare guides, archangels, and angels, please provide guided messages for group number two. What is in store for them this month of April? All right, you have here King of Arrows. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this. We have here 10 of bows. Hold on, let me actually focus so you can see it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wow, you got the seer. All right. Next, you have the Hooded Man. So a lot of spiritual people watching um, who chose group number two. <laughs> you might be into tarot as well or divination, any forms of divination. You got the Green Man. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. Let me put this over here instead. Next, you have here King of Stones. Wolf. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, overall energy. Let's take a look. You got the blasted oak. All right. So, yeah, I'm sensing, uh, hmm. I'm actually getting a Virgo energy here as well. And for some of you, um, it's also Scorpio. Very intense energy as well that I'm actually picking up here. Some of you might also be uh, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But yeah, I'm getting strong Virgo energy. I'm also getting Scorpio, okay? So, for group number two, a lot of you are also into divination. This That's what I actually pick up. Some of you are pretty much spiritual as well. Okay, you might have experienced um, some sort of like a, a shakeup in the past or there was something intense that actually happened, okay? Uh, this shook up your foundation, okay? And um, for some of you, you're pretty much burdened with a ten of bows, probably with, burdened with a lot of responsibility. Maybe you guys are so... Um, busy or there's a lot of task or there's a lot of you know um burdens that you actually needed to um carry whether that's emotional burden or that's actual burden responsibilities right as this is a general reading but what i actually feel for the month of april for you guys i feel you're going to be a lot more 
yeah, you're going to be a lot more grounded. You're going to um, contemplate on things. You're going to take that pause. Even though we don't have the hangman here, you're going to take that pause because things are actually um, pretty intense for you. So I feel you're going to try to calm yourself down, take that um, pause that you needed to reflect, to meditate on things, okay? And I feel that you're going to actually be a, li a little bit more grounded and I feel that you're going to manifest actually something new. Um, there's a manifestation energy that I'm actually picking up here, whether that's a new idea, a new opportunity, okay? And I feel that uh, being grounded is going to be very much important for you this uh, month of April. If you've been really, really busy over uh, duties or tasks or whatever that is, uh, you will realize, you will get that truth that you actually needed to just take things slow or just to, yeah, to ground your energies uh, this month of April. For some of you, you're actually going to, again, prove something because you got the green man here. And for me, it's, it's like manifestation for me. You're going to prove something that is actually going to be really, really good for you. Um, that will give you a lot of opportunity um, financially as well as your income. That is what I'm actually getting here because you're going to embrace the King of Stones energy as well as the King of Swords. So these two kings are actually very powerful. King of Swords is actually somebody who's, um, yeah, very disciplined. Okay, uh, you go for the truth. Okay, integrity is going to be very important for you. Things are going to be a lot more clearer for you. I'm also getting with the King of Stones or the King of Earth a little bit more grounded. That's really what I'm getting. Um, and it's very psychic. That's really what I'm picking up here with a wolf here. Okay, probably your animal totem is a wolf. Okay, so very strong, powerful energies that I'm picking up for group number two. Okay, and then you got the moon here. So maybe there's something that you're going to manifest during full moon or new moon. Um, that's what I'm getting um, as well for, for those who are into divination okay and you're going to be a little bit more grounded and you're going to be uh, more stable okay whether that's stability in your career or in your income okay so yeah because probably because of the shakeup, whatever it is that happened well we all have experienced some challenges right because of the the COVID-19 or the coronavirus so I feel that kind of like is part of the challenge that you have been through so I feel that you're going to be more calm more yeah more in control of your emotions you are going to actually manifest something a lot more better that's really what i'm getting here okay so let's try to pull up more what else is in store for group number two let me just fix my cards here okay all right let's see what is in store for group number two this month of april oh wow yeah definitely you guys are psychics okay so somebody watching you know group number two is very into divination or you have a very strong intuition you're very intuitive okay so your intuition will also heighten that's also what i'm picking up he got the transformation card so things are going to shift there are some changes that's going to happen for you this is a very scorpio energy so this is definitely a confirmation for me that somebody here is a scorpio okay um, and hello, I'm a Scorpio too. So hello to my fellow Scorpios out there. And wow, you got spiritual union. So this is two of cups. For some of you, this had something to do with love as well or relationships, okay? So there's something that's going to happen for you this month of April when it comes to relationships. Maybe you're going to be in union um, on a soul level, not necessarily like face-to-face -face you're going to be in union. But what I'm also getting here is that there's going to be some harmony. That's also what I'm hearing, harmony uh, when it comes to, um, yeah, in your in your journey in this soulmate or twin flame journey whatever it is that you want to want to call it but i'm really getting that there's going to be some unity or some harmony in your connection if it's actually um a relationship yeah concern or in in your area of uh relationships or love in general okay but but then again i'm getting a very strong um, energy uh, that some of you are really, you know, very psychic, very intuitive. So I feel that there's going to be an important download that you will also get, just like group number one. I'm also like picking that up. Like there's some sort of like a message that you're actually going to get. Okay. So yeah, 
I, I'm feeling that your intuition will actually be a lot more on point this month of April. There's going to be some changes, whether changes in your area of finances or in your area of relationships. That's really what I'm getting here, okay? You're going to manifest something new. That's why you got the transformation card over here, which is so beautiful. I love this. Okay, what else? What is in store for group number two this month of April? All right, you got here, here and now. All right, that is beautiful. So that means you're actually going to live in the present moment. Um, you're actually not going to obsess over what's going to happen in the future because maybe some of you um, probably were a bit anxious or you probably got a little bit stressed out or worried about, you know, the shakeup that you actually just experienced. Um, so whatever shakeup that was, because you got the blasted oak earlier, so it kind of like shook you up. It was very powerful. It was something that probably you weren't expecting to happen. I feel that going forward, especially this month of April, you're actually going to just live in the present moment because it's something that you have control of. All right, so you probably realize that as well as you try to go within because some of you are actually in that hermit energy. Well, we all are, especially if you're in a quarantine, you know, and with a lockdown and all that. But I'm talking about the hermit energy of going within. Like there are some things that you actually realize, okay? And by going within, you realize um, a lot of things that you maybe it's better for you to just live in the present moment. Do not worry too much about the future because that's going to not, you know, definitely not going to help you out, okay? So that is beautiful. That's what's going to be your energy this month of April living in the present moment okay all right what else see here what is in store for group number two wow we have the stone people uh, vigilance so I feel that for the month of April you're also going to be a lot more careful whatever you know um form or however you're going to be careful whether you're going to be a little bit more mindful of the people around you especially with a you know the virus if you're wanting to take it literally with the you know current events okay um you're going to be a lot more careful okay so either careful with your thoughts okay careful with um how you actually um yeah communicate so there's uh, that careful and mindful energy that you're going to have this month of April. Vigilance is being mindful, okay? Whether that's with your own thoughts, being careful about how you think about the situation. So yeah, you're going to be in control of that. That is beautiful. I love it. Okay, what else? Let's try the energy oracle. What is in store for group number two this month of April? Yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Blossoming abundance. So that's actually really good because some of you are actually brewing this um, abundance. You got, let me actually go back there. Mm, yeah, it's like the green man here, right? So you are going to brew something. You're brewing something. You're going to manifest something that will actually give you a lot of abundance. Whether this had something to do with an idea or a project that would actually, you know, give you financial success. Okay? So, maybe some of you are pretty much burdened about money. Okay? About where where am I going to get some, you know, consistent money uh, going forward? Because some of you are probably, yeah, a bit worried about your finances. That's really what I'm getting here. There's some fear or anxiety or worry over um, finances or your stability at work, okay, in your own career. What's going to happen going forward? That's why you're going to live in the present moment because you know that instead of worrying and worrying over things that you don't have control of just yet, you are just going to live in the present moment. In the meantime, you're going to be in control of 
what it is or what is it rather that it, you have control of your present moment that's why you're going to live in the present moment you're going to work on you know um your own stability okay you have the abundance card here so yeah you're going to work on uh things that are actually going to going to give you a lot of abundance um that is going to be uh good for you in the future as well so that is awesome i love that you know i love that thought i love that you're not actually worrying too much about what's going to happen in the future because there are some things that are beyond our control so yeah even if you're a psychic you know there are things that are really beyond our control anything can happen as energies do change so that's good all right so let me now actually get some cards for you before we wrap this reading. We we'll take four cards from the Archangel Power card. So this might be some advice, okay, or some energies about what's happened this month of April. All right, anything else? Okay, that was fast. He got perspective. That is beautiful. And this is what I was talking about. Even though we got, we don't have the Hangman um, card earlier, he got it here still. So there you go. This is actually the Hangman card. So you're going to take that time to pause and reflect and look at things from a different lens or different perspective. Okay? So he got the perspective card, Archangel Samuel. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. So, yeah, what else? What's in store for troop number two this month of April, Spirit? You have a lot of major arcanas. That is so freaking awesome. You have peace. So, let's take a look at that. Archangel Azrael release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Again, let go and let God. You're surrendering to the universe. Not everything is actually in your control. So you're finally going to see things from a different perspective in such a way that I don't have control on, all, on everything. There are some things that are really beyond my control. Okay? So you are going to put your focus on the things that you can have control of. And that is beautiful. So instead of worrying over the future and worrying about what's going to happen, you're just going to surrender to the divine, okay? Work on the controllables. That's really what I'm getting for group number two. So yeah, you're going to release the past. Maybe that's part of your past because you were probably a bit, you know, yeah, challenged and um, you're worried about something. You got anxious about something. There was a shakeup that happened. So it's time for you to release the, the past. It's not going to help you out, okay? So you're changing your perspective or how you're going to handle things going forward. So that is beautiful. Another card that you got you have six of Ariel. Okay, it says here. Let me actually focus. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So exactly. So for some of you, this really had something to do with money, finances. This is what I was talking about. There were some worries um, about money or financial, you know, stuffs. So yeah, you will actually get that fulfillment when it comes to your material needs, okay? You are actually going to be okay. There are some unexpected, you know, things that are going to come along for you, okay? And this is also talking about balance because Six of Pentacles is also talking about balance. You're going to be a lot more balanced this month of April, okay? All right, what else? One more. Okay, let me actually just fix this. Ooh, okay, got a lot of cards though. Let me shuffle it again. Just needed one more spirit for group number one. Rather two, wow. I said number one because number one's reading was freaking awesome too. Wow, you got Ace of Gabriel. So yeah, let's read that. Hold on. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a new beginning for you. Alright, that's what I'm getting here. Um, group number two. 
So yeah, you're going to be a lot more inspired this month of April. So yeah, instead of focusing or worrying on things that you don't have any control of, you're going to find ways to actually inspire you. You're going to put your focus on things that are going to be a lot more productive for you that would inspire you because you were being given a chance to do something that is truly amazing, okay? So yeah, there's some sort of like... Um, either a creative idea okay an opportunity that's going to be presented for you that will inspire you a whole lot expect peace definitely this month of april which is good all right you will have peace of mind you will no longer be focusing on things that didn't work or on things that are actually shaky for you or challenging things okay instead of complaining and whining over things you are actually going to be a lot more you know in control of your emotions a lot more balanced okay with a six of aerial too so this is is totally beautiful for the first two groups okay yeah i'm so happy for you group number two that is beautiful this is a general reading okay it will not resonate for all but yeah great things are actually coming for you this month of april all right so yes yeah, better release the past change your perspective change your um uh your lenses uh for a much more you know um, basically it's more like focusing on the good things instead of the negative of things and before i actually end this reading um yeah we're all challenged by you know this global crisis but we have the power to choose our energy okay we have the power not to make things a lot more worse than they already are so that's why it's really important for you to actually shift your focus put more attention in how to better yourself how to actually yeah to be a lot more safe in this trying times okay focus your energies to more positive things so that's beautiful okay that is truly beautiful that's you know what we actually need to do we should put our focus on positive things on on things that actually are going to be good for us instead of stressing ourselves over it worrying you know it's not going to help you out okay all right so you are also going to live in the present moment and that is beautiful as well for group number two there you go so again thank you so so much stay safe all the time all right and be blessed. I send you all the love and light group too. Have a wonderful April. Okay, the last group you chose is really uber long. Um, incense sticks, the red incense sticks. There you go. All right, beautiful. Let me actually put it over here. So yeah, let's try to find out what is in store for you this month of April. What are the energies for you this month of April? All right, spare guides, archangels, and angels, please provide guided messages. For the collective who chose group number three. What is in store for group number three this month of April, Spirit? Okay, you got here the green woman. Group two got the green man. You got the green woman. Actually, let me focus. You can't see it much. There you go. Yeah, green woman. All right, you got here five of vessels. Okay. The journey, that is beautiful, okay. Next you have here, Knight of Stones, okay. Wow, you got two of vessels, two of cups, beautiful, all right. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of cards. We just needed one more. There you go. You have five of stones. All right, so you keep on getting the number five, which talks about changes, okay? Yeah. And overall energy, you got the guardian, okay? All right. 
me focus. There you go. So I'm actually sensing a lot of Earth energy here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay. I'm also picking up strong water signs here. So Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. So what is in store for you this month of April? I feel that there is actually something um, new that is going to come along for you. I feel that you're going to be manifesting something. Um, in the past, you might have been pretty much disappointed with how things you know went okay whatever form of disappointment that was for you or there was some sort of like a frustration um, about a certain situation okay whether that's love because there's two of cups here as well okay so maybe um, yeah things didn't work out well you've been waiting for something I'm getting that waiting energy for some of you some of you felt you know uh, kind of like um, defensive i'm also sensing that some of you felt um abandoned by something or maybe it had something to do with relationships like you felt abandoned somebody felt left out in the cold because he got here to five of pentacles or whatever lack that is if it's not relationship you felt this sort of like lack okay so for the month of april i feel that you are actually going to be a lot more protective of your energy you're going to be a lot more guarded okay of yourself because look at this girl over here she's actually it's like isolation with a you know with a lockdown <laughs> and with uh what do you call that with a quarantine there you go she is actually trying to you know keep her safe very warm very protective from the outside world because outside is actually very powerful intense electrifying it's dangerous so again that's what i'm picking up for your energy this month of april you're going to be a lot more careful with your with your emotions or literally if you're trying to keep safe that's awesome okay all right can take that literally as well but for some of you it's more about being careful about your emotions how you react to things okay how you deal with difficult situations um i'm also picking up they're going to be a lot more careful with your finances for some of you i'm picking that up with your money how you spend money that's also what i'm getting here um and again i feel that you are just going to be um you're gonna keep things safe okay you're gonna keep things safe as you go along in this journey okay you're gonna um basically going with the flow in such a way okay outside just like you know i'm drawn to this card really outside is really dangerous okay so what do i do i have to survive it's kind of like a survival energy for you uh group three this month of april you're gonna do things that are practical that's really what i'm picking up as well for some of you you're going to manifest something you got the two of cups here so i feel when it comes to love or relationship um i feel that you're actually going to be more aware more careful about your how you react with things or how you're going to um take good care of your emotions you're going to be a lot more protective about yourself about your emotions that's really what i'm picking up here okay because there might be some disappointments from the past if you know there was an argument or things you know didn't go the way you want whatever that is you're just gonna go with the flow that's really what i'm getting here and a lot more protective of your energy okay that's really what i'm getting here the word protection is also what i'm picking up from this spread okay and you keep on getting number five so changes maybe changes in how you handle things as well all right so let's try to pull up more let's see what else in, is in store for group number three spirit all right yeah you got here the accelerated motion now this is also the eight of wands energy although it came out in reverse i don't normally do reversals but let's see here um this is also talking about uh communication it talks about communication something intense remember you got a lot of intensity from your cards earlier like that little girl who is actually trying to um keep herself safe from the outside world because it was so intense there's a lot of lightning outside so yeah i feel that like what i said um whatever intense energies that you're experiencing 
Aaron saying you're going to be a lot more protective of your emotions over it or how, how you handle things. That's really what I'm getting so far in your reading, uh, group number three. At the same time, I'm also getting that... Um, yeah, you're going to actually be a lot more grounded or you're going to take things slow one at a time because this actually came out in reverse because accelerated motion is fast. It's actually intense. OK, so you're just going to take things slow one at a time is what I'm hearing right now. One at a time. OK, so that is actually very beautiful. This is also talking about communication. All right. So maybe for some of you, there's actually an important message as well that you might be receiving, not for all of you but um, I'm getting that communication or message from someone and then what else yeah you have look at this woman over here like she's actually just you know wishing upon a star okay so I feel that you're also going to be a little bit more hopeful and optimistic this um, month of April okay but again like what I said you're just going to take things one at a time you're, you're not going to be all over the place all right that's what I'm getting here What else? What is in store for group number three this month of April? Ooh, he got co-create. All right. So you're going to focus more on things that would inspire you because co-create, it's, it's talking about creativity. So yeah, which is good. Maybe in this time of isolation, because I'm getting that isolated energy as well. Look at this, right? Like... I'm really drawn to this card so far and you're keeping yourself safe from the outside world. I really feel that for group number three, this month of April, you're going to focus on your, um, on your abundance, on your creative, creative side, whatever it is that would inspire you or make you feel a lot more productive. That's really what I'm getting here. So there's something about creativity. There's something about inspiration. Okay. So either that's a product or some ideas okay I'm um, also sensing stability for you because you got the number 40 and if you add that up it's number four so you're going to focus on your stability as well okay that is beautiful so creativity inspiration that's really what I'm getting here and also trying to yeah for me co-create is also try to yeah to collaborate or to actually yeah just to be in harmony with someone as well I'm also picking that up yeah, that's beautiful. What else? What is in store for group number three this month of April? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Strength. That is so beautiful for group number three. So just like what I said, if you've experienced a lot of setbacks, a lot of challenges, because um, just like what I said, it was a little bit too challenging to go outside, right? Um, not just literally, okay, with the quarantine, but um, what I'm sensing, a lot of, you know, negative things that happen, whether that's in your area of love or career or whatever that is, you're actually going to be given a lot of strength this uh, month of April because look at this this is a mountain okay mountain on this card for me it represents challenges obstacles okay so no matter how high the climb is it doesn't matter it's you know you're going to take things slow one at a time until you get to the top that's really the energy I'm getting for group number three which is beautiful you're going to be strong to actually overcome any challenges or obstacles or setbacks, okay? So that is beautiful. You're going to be stronger. That is awesome. I love this. I love all three um, groups. The energies are really beautiful. Okay. A lot more positive. That's great. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take four cards from this Archangel Power Cards before we wrap things up. Let's see what are the energies for you. Probably the advice from spirit, okay, in your situation. All right. Message for group number three or the energy spirit, please. You have Ace of Michael. That is beautiful. This is actually really good. Remember I told you earlier there's some truth or clarity because earlier you got this card. Hold on. Let me actually just go back. Yeah, I'm getting that really, you know, um, strong energy of manifestation. 
Anyway, I couldn't see it, but there's going to be a new beginning for you. All right. It says here a wonderful new idea. Exactly. Some sort of like a creative project or an idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. I don't know if you can see it. Let me actually focus. There you go. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay, so maybe that's why I got that communication message earlier. Remember I said either somebody's going to send you a message, okay? So maybe that's an advice from Spirit um, to make sure that you should be clear with your communication or there's some sort of like um, clarity that's going to come towards you or some, some form of a truth. Uh, there's probably an important communication that's going to come towards you. And that's what I felt earlier when they got the accelerated motion card, right? If you can remember, I actually mentioned that. So um, I feel that there's some clearing up. Maybe you and this person, whoever that is, maybe there are some misunderstandings from the past because you got the energy of disappointment as well. Okay, things are not uh, a bit too upsetting for you. All right. So what I'm actually getting is that um, there's going to be some, yeah, some sorting out to do when it comes to some communication problems, okay? You're going to communicate things clearly or maybe this person who's actually going to contact you, you and this person are going to actually, um, yeah, try to sort things out and really work on it, which is good. If there were some mis I'm hearing the word misunderstanding. So whatever form of misunderstanding, if you had a rift with someone, whether that's a friend, a lover, I feel that there's going to be, um, yeah, some truth coming out, okay? Or there's something new when it comes to the way you guys are going to communicate towards each other. So you, you guys are going to work on, on that one, on that area of communication, which is really, really good. You're gonna clear that up. That's awesome. And again, this is an advice for you to actually um, not to allow, you know, bumps in the road because there are a lot of challenges. Um, we are all experiencing challenges um, in our lives, especially with what's going on. Whatever that is that you're going through, I feel that you're going to be a lot more stronger because you got the mountain earlier. You know, you're going to be a lot more stronger with the strength here. Okay. A lot more stronger and you're not going to allow any bumps in the roads to actually hinder you from getting to the top and look at archangel michael he's on the top already so he's like showing you yes you can do it you know it might be slow but once you actually take things one step at a time you can get to the top and look at me i'm on top so archangel michael is actually like showing you you can do it all right don't, you know, rush on things. Just, you know, take baby steps. What matters is that you're consistent, you're moving, you're growing, okay? And you're stronger, okay? So, yeah, you can get to the top. Don't allow the bumps in the road to actually hinder your progress, all right? And you'll be given a new idea. For some of you, if it's a message, maybe for you, for some of you, it's not an actual message. It's actually a new idea that's going to come in that would actually be really good for you to focus on. That will give you, because I'm sensing a lot of creativity for you this um, month of April, Group 3. So, yeah, something that would inspire you as well. What else? Okay, let's take a look at that. You got Seven of Ariel. Let me focus. It can actually read it. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Exactly. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Exactly. So that's why I'm getting that waiting energy as well. Right? So this is a, a message for you from spirit or your angels to actually have patience. There will be progress. Okay? Whatever it is that you've worked hard on, there's going to be some progress. Just have patience on it. Okay? All right. So, yeah. There are some things that might take some time before it actually blooms, okay? Whether that's a relationship, whether that's a project, whatever that is, okay? That's awesome. So patience is actually uh, a keyword for you this month of April too. We need two more, Spirit. Ooh. Okay, a lot of earth energy. So yeah, some of it it's had something to do with um with finances or income or stability at work, okay? So yeah, let me read it. It says here, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. This is what I was talking about, right? Either there's a new idea or there's an opportunity coming along for you. So that's great. All right, scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work, okay? 
So yeah, what I'm actually sensing here、uh, with the page of Ariel, it's more about like a new idea, a new project they can put your focus on, something that will give you a lot of success, something that would actually inspire you, a creative project. So that's what I'm picking up for you because you keep on getting the word create. Creativity or inspiration. So that's what I'm picking up. That is awesome. All right, what is this? He got the Queen of Gabriel. All right, let's read that. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Beautiful. So that is actually awesome. Group number three, you are going to definitely embrace the Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands is very passionate about what she wants. You're going to be more assertive. You're actually going to be a lot more inspired. That's why creativity and inspiration is part of your theme or energy this month. Of April, on top of you're going to be a lot more careful, okay, of your energies about yourself. You're going to take things slow, but at the same time, there's that balance of fire and there's that balance of earth. So it's kind of like、um, you're not going to be all over the place. You're going to be a little bit more grounded, okay. You're going to be more passionate for sure.、Um, there's some brilliant ideas coming in or opportunities coming in for you that you can put your focus on, okay. And you're going to be a lot more inspired. And passionate about it, you're gonna go after what you want, all right. And there are probably some people who's going to assist you, give you some advice, all right. But again, this is also、uh, a reminder for you guys to actually be a little bit more.、Um, Yeah, patient with the results because some of you are probably, yeah, just、um, testy or impatient about either it's relationship. Like, when is this person gonna come in? Because for some of you, there's going to be an important com- communication. If you had a riff with someone, just like what I said, I'm also seeing that for you this month of April. You guys are gonna clear up some communication problems. You guys are going to sort things out. Okay, you might be receiving that important、um, communication from someone, or if it's not an actual message from a Loved one, it's actually an idea or an opportunity that's going to be presented for you, which will, you know, give you that opportunity to be successful, whether whether that's financial success or emotional fulfillment, whatever that is. Okay, so totally beautiful energy for all three groups. I love this because, yeah, and I love the fact they got the strength card again. All right. You can definitely overcome any challenges, group three, any、um, obstacles or setbacks. This is a reminder from your spirit guides or spirit team that you are stronger than what you think. Okay, you can actually climb on that top of the mountain, however long it would take. Because again, patience is actually very important here. Okay, you got the word patience as well. So no matter how long it would take you, that means、um, you're getting stronger and stronger every single day, and until you reach the very top. Okay, just like Archangel Michael here, I'm seeing the resemblance here. Look at that. It's like Archangel Michael is really showing you you can do it. Come on. Don't allow yourself to be hindered by any negative thoughts, okay, or any bumps in the road. Keep going. That's really what I'm getting here, okay. So yeah, such a beautiful reading for you, group number three, for all three groups actually. So that is totally awesome. All right, yeah. And trying times or challenging times that we're all facing right now, it is actually very much important to stay in control of your emotions to stay. In check to be positive. All right, we are all energies. Everything is energy. We choose our energies, right? So it's very important that you put your focus on things that would actually be really, really good for you, instead of. Putting your focus on things that will stress you out, or you're focusing on worries, or you know things that are actually not there yet. Okay, so yeah,、uh, try to be a little bit more balanced and make sure that you're careful of your own thoughts because your thoughts will create your own reality. All right. So there you go. I wish you all a wonderful April, and again,、uh, stay well or stay safe or keep safe. And I'll see you again on the next card reading. Bye bye, guys. Love and light.